Hey guys, this is TK Baller 21 and today I have the Nikon D3000. I'm going to do a pretty detailed review on this uh, DSLR camera and we'll get started right away. The design of the camera is almost identical to all the other Nikon cameras that are out there. Nice um, Grip right here, easy access to turn on the camera and to take pictures. Um, the dial to change the modes is very easy to turn. Uh, <clears throat> and so right here, start off, this is how you turn on the camera, on and off, take pictures, info button, aperture, this is the another flash button, the dial mode, auto, no, auto, no flash, portrait, landscape, child, sport, close up, and night picture. And we have we have manual, um, manual, wait, manual aperture. I don't know what these two are. Sorry about that. And this is um, kind of a new feature on the DSL or uh, Nikon D3000. This is the guide menu. And here it is right here. You have, um, basically it just shows you how to, um, shoot on different modes. And, uh, it'll give you a more cleaner picture. It'll help you out a little bit. Hold on one sec. Okay, um, what else we got here? Here's the lens that, if you just want to buy the... Most common Nikon package. It, this is a 18 to 55 uh, millimeter lens, which has a vibration reduction switch on here and an auto and a manual switch. Um, the list lens, it's a pretty good lens, but I mean you're gonna have to upgrade it pretty soon if you're just gonna if you if you're gonna just take pictures of you know, right, ordinary things like pick people and, um, you know, just take pictures at parties and stuff. The, this lens is good for that, but you're going to have to upgrade it if you, uh, if you, if you want to take this camera to the next step. Um, so yeah, this is the lens that it comes with. I mean, it's, it's a, it's an okay lens. And then, um, to put it back on, you get you match this white dot up with the white dot right here. Just put that together and you turn and it'll click. So um Yeah and then over here you have your flash button and your on button for your flash. You can put your you can put a strap right here. And right here, if you want, I have the uh, Nikon strap right here. Um, right here is the flash. And you can mount a, another flash on top of it if you want right there. Here's the viewfinder. This camera does not have live view. Um, but personally, I like looking through the, the viewfinder anyways. It, it's... Um, I just think it's funner, and um, it has a um, a rubber padding around the uh, viewfinder. This is the play or uh, to view your your current pictures right here, and then your menu menu button. Turn off God. Menu button right here, and your uh, 
you can this is your it'll show you a detailed picture uh, I can't see it alright there you go it gives you a more detailed information about the camera if you hit the uh, has a little question mark right there if you hit that and then you have a uh, say you're in your pictures and you want to zoom up on the picture more you can do that or you can go like this and if you want to see multiple pictures you can zoom out all the way and look at all your pictures right here so that's that um what else we have here if you go into menu you have a playback menu a shooting menu a setup menu a retouch menu and you have recent settings in the retouch menu you can change the lighting you can correct the red eye you can trim it you can do filter effects color bounces you can make the picture smaller change the uh, image layout you can create a stop motion movie if you want to see how you can do that you can go in my other pictures and um or my other videos and check that out and in here we have the uh, setup menu and the shooting menu <clears throat> and your playback menu okay um all these pictures are taken with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens because I have not gotten a new lens yet uh, Here's just some pictures. Yeah, you can zoom up if you want on it. You, uh, quality is amazing, but you can't really tell on this video camera how great it actually is. Here's just some random pictures I took. This is the Philadelphia Auto Show pictures. And yeah, so... This camera does not come with a a memory stick. You'll have to buy it yourself. And in here you have a microphone jack and a USB slot. And then on this side you have the memory stick slot. Over here you have your D-pad to move around and the OK button and the delete button. To delete you just double click on the photo to delete. On the bottom here we have a this is for a tripod slash monopod. The I've used three monopods or two monopods and a tripod on this camera and they all fit so I mean they fit pretty much any monopod or tripod. And right here is your is your rechargeable battery slot so this is the review on the Nikon D3000 would you, if you would like to see more videos on photography please comment, rate, and subscribe